Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Should be a thrilling conclusion to this one as period number three is now underway. We've got 40 minutes in the books. Ray Ferraro is between the benches. Ray, how do you see things playing out? Winnipeg's got to find some energy here. The game's close, but they haven't had very many shots on goal. You're not going to score like that. The Jets have it now. Winnipeg's got it now. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Grabbed along the board by Wheeler. Quick pass to Dodanoff. The Coyotes are on the attack. Puck jumped in and the forwards go for a change. Nice B. And that carries off a stick. Here's a chance. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Takes the puck behind the net. Penalty coming up as the play is blown dead. They're going to have to regroup here shorthanded, but the penalty killers can get the job done. They can get back to trying to tie this game up. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. Coaches always talk about the importance of excellent special teams. You don't necessarily have to score, but you can gain some momentum. Hellebuck's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Larry's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. And there's another great save! The Coyotes have it against the wall. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it to the middle! Oh, and he comes up with a stop! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. draw here inside the offensive zone and he denied that opportunity and another stop Hellebuck's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle well you gotta kill the play eventually that way everyone can get reorganized Lowry's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff Schmaltz wins the draw they'll look to set up here offensively and the goalie covers up for the whistle Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's a 2-1 game. The Coyotes win the faceoff. Great poke check on the reach. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Schmaltz. Fires it on net. Great stop by Hillebuck. Gets it out of his own end. From the place 99 made famous. Oh, how do you not convert those chances? Oh, he's going to be disappointed. I mean, that's a great A scoring chance that doesn't turn into a shot on net. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two on one. The Coyotes played along the boards. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Looks to pass it to Ehlers. And they continue to apply pressure here. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. And now it's over to Line. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Through center. Takes the feed. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. 
Big play inside the defensive zone. And he's able to handle that one. Holmquist slugging the puck. The Coyotes take it along the wall. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Moves it around along the half wall. Centering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kessel. Takes that pass back at the point. Well, penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. I thought he was going to slow up somewhere along the way, but that's a charging penalty every time. Arizona's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. This is a confident power play group. They've already been on the board in this game, and they want more. You can just tell by how quickly they got out there. Moves it to Gadanov. Fails to find the open man. Slides the puck across to Dillon. And it's kicked away. Delayed penalty coming up here. And they manage to clear it. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Hayton's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. A little more room out there with a little four on four. Four on four opens up a whole new ball game. Lots of room to carry the puck. Winnipeg's won the faceoff. Off a stick and they can't connect. Scrum along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Schmidt. Cutting to the slot. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Look at this thing, got some bodies here on the attack. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Halibut's play has been outstanding tonight. From the time the puck hit the ice, he's been locked in. Great. A score! Oh, huge goal! Puts it ahead! There seemed to be some back and forth here that was making it hard to determine who's going to take the lead. That goal changes the whole course of this night. Now the other guys have to chase. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Jets are looking to build on this one goal lead. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Ehlers. Shot, and he comes up with it. Now a quick pass to Pareko. The Jets will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expires. And that goes off course off a of body. The coaches are pumped to see this kind of offense is going for Jack. They want more of it. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Slides it over with haste. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Winnipeg's continually pushing the play. They've got the lead, and this shot hits the post and stays out. Morrissey's got it in the defensive end. Knocked away by Hayton. Scooped up along the wall by Morrissey. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Taken by Wheeler. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Look at that hit. Let's get physical. They opt to play the puck instead here. Hellebuck's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Hayden's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Handles the pass. Quick pass to Tippett. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Feeds the puck over to Wheeler. They've got numbers here. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. And he easily stops that one. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Wheeler. 
picks up the puck in his own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. This is when the coaches find out who's able to be trusted in a tight game. This one is not spread out yet, and this is going to go right down to the end of the wire. And he makes the save. Hellebuck's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Lowry's won the draw inside his own end. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. This official's getting quite the arm work out here tonight. There's no other option, though, at all. They're pretty clear penalties to be called, unfortunately, for this crowd. It's against the whole team all the time. The Coyotes send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, you hope they're ready for this opportunity, James, as it shows up as they're trailing by one. Now they get a man advantage and a chance to tie this game up. Denies him again! He scores! He tied it up! He tied it up here late in the third! Whatever's happened prior to this chance, we're right back at the start. They kept pushing away, and finally we're able to get the equalizer. Late goings of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Beagles won the draw. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Dishes it to Ehlers. Dillon's got it along the boards. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Leah Bushkin. Stays with it. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Arizona's looking to break out of their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. With some open space at center. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Hellebuck's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. The setters will glide into the dot. The Coyotes will go to work here in the offensive zone. Dillon's taking it from his own end. Into the attacking end. A feet out front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Takes a shot, and he shuts the ball on that. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Arizona's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Sends the pass down low. Here he is on the backhand. Hellebuck's going to hang on for a whistle. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Arizona's won the draw and they'll go to work. Hey, the goalie's just playing the law of averages here. They try to make themselves as big as they can. I mean, it looks like a bunch of people trying to get onto a box. It's so crowded in front of the net. Yet he's in the right spot to make the save. Receives the pass. There's the buzzer, and that means drama looms with overtime. And it's coming up in just a matter of moments. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We've got our overtime picks in. Have you got yours? Because they're ready to drop the puck. Social media's buzzing with who's going to be the OT hero. It is underway. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got it, and they're on the attack. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Skinner's got it across the line. Here's a short pass to Labushkin. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Takes it to the front. Game on a stick. And he comes up with a huge save. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. 
From along the boards, he takes the feed. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Arizona's got him along the wall. Looks to set up at the point now. He was locked in there. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by Leah Bushkin. Poked away as center by Shifley. Cut into it in overtime. Huge stop, man. That was tremendous. I would have bet on him scoring, James. He had the puck settled. He had lots of time. He just couldn't capitalize. The Jets pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Pionk. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Right up the gut into the offensive end. The Jets gain control of the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Coyotes look to start the transition game. Takes the pass. A chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there. A critical draw here. Still anyone's game as we approach the final minute of overtime. Great use of the stick at center by Schmaltz. And now he tries to get it across to Ehlers. And offside, we'll get a reset here. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Schmaltz wins the draw inside the neutral zone. The Coyotes carry it along the wall. Moves it to Ehlers. Rocked him in the open ice. Quick shot! And the puck skips off the glove. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Wheeler. Trying to gain a step. All alone. What a stop on the breakaway. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Cut sent over to Schmaltz. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Puts it on there. Oh! 